Students enrolled in Welding 1 will start with their basic safety training, their OSHA certification, 10-hour certification card. After that, they'll move to a stick process, stick welding process, shielded metal arc welding. And then we pretty well let them go and experience those other processes as well. There is a shortage of welders in the state of Texas as well as the nation. So we're doing our part on the educational level to get these kids employed, to give them the basic skills they need to be successful in life at low cost. I'm here in support of the school and our teachers and our students who are putting this program on, trying to spotlight what Cypher ISD are doing for their students in the area of welding providing all kinds of opportunities, whether that be something right out of high school or something that they're going to use while they're pursuing additional training. It's just a wonderful opportunity that we provide. It's the kids. It's important for these kids to have a chance. And a lot of the kids that I work with over the last 16 years have already have families and uh, have no goals for college. It's just amazing to see what it's done for some of the students. It gives our, our young people a chance to learn a marketable skill and a chance to, uh, to display that skill to uh, their peers and, uh, and their teachers as well as industry. In Welding 1, we move into Welding 2. We start with a safety, the OSHA 10-hour safety certification and more advanced welding processes. Your, your open groove welding with your combination processes, MIG and flux core uh, combination, TIG is thrown in there as well, and then projects will be introduced into welding too. Our certifications in here definitely is the OSHA 10-hour safety certification, and then after that we use the American Welding Society, Canadian Welding Bureau, and uh, ASME Section 9. I want to pursue welding as a career, so this is a good step to me getting into the real world and the welding world. This school district being dedicated to putting out welders is, is really filling a need and a void in this industry, in this town. You see the, the spark in everyone's eye, the, what drives them into getting in this uh, program. Everything you see is welded. Welding industry is so important right now. The availability of the workforce is shrinking. As educators are trying to, to fill that void, not only in at a ground level, but a higher level. Our students here at our school and surrounding schools do have students that go directly to the workforce. We have three students right now working at one of our big supporters, Interflex. One of those was hired before he even graduated high school. So if these students take complete advantage of what they learn here in this classroom and in this shop and in shops like this. There should be no reason why they can't leave straight from here and go straight to work and make a decent living.